welcome back to The Vocalist. Today we are trying something new. Um, this could be a terrible idea, <laughs> but I thought it might be fun if maybe once a week I pick a video or a song to react to that is a more recent release. I'll still be reacting to the singers and the songs that you guys have recommended, but in an attempt to sort of get with the times, stay current, I thought it would be fun to see the new stuff that's coming out. So today, we are going to be listening to Jay Chow. Um, it looks like this particular video came out July 6th. A lot of music comes out on Fridays, I'm finding, so I might have to rearrange my teaching schedule if I want to be, like, super on top of it, but... Um, I have not heard this singer before, and after a little bit of research, I thought it was really cool to find out he was in The Green Hornet, so... I, I think I saw that movie, but it, it was a long time ago, so I don't remember it. Nonetheless, here we go. Also, for those of you new here, I am a voice teacher. I like to pause. I like to talk a lot, so consider yourself warned. I'm sorry, that piano is gorgeous. <laughs> singers can play instruments. Um, I want to go back. That was beautiful. I love, I also love the, the melody and how it was turning back the clock. Uh. Magical and whimsical. This is such a beautiful music video. Um, normally on my channel I like to watch live performances because I like to dissect everything, but it's always fun to just, I mean, if this wasn't such a captivating video, I would close my eyes so I could really listen to him singing, but there's just so much to take in. I think I pre 
prefer not seeing the singer's lip sync because I think this is just, I mean, this in itself is, is a work of art. It's just a masterpiece, like what they've done here, um, making it so whimsical and, you know, traveling through time, all of that. Um, I am going to back it up just a smidge to listen to him sing. You guys will have to let me know. Well, I can do some research too, but I knew he was an R&B singer just from like my preliminary search, um, but I didn't realize he rapped. So I don't know. Let's go back. We'll go back to the singing. Oh, a little bit further, I think. Okay. So just listening, you can kind of hear, um, he's singing in chest voice, um, and then he's not putting too much pressure on his chords, so that little kind of raspy, airy quality that you hear, it's, it's not falsetto, it's not head voice, it's just a little bit of relaxation on the chords. One more time. transition into his head voice one more time and artistically can we just appreciate that like he did that falsetto as the flowers were blooming like I don't know if I'm that person that just reads too much into things but I think that was a choice and I think that's a beautiful moment <laughs> This musical interlude it's got sort of that Parisian cafe vibe that stereotypical I know <laughs> but it's like just yeah everything with the the decor and the costumes all of it it just vibes so well I'm gonna play that one more time <laughs> listening to that again. Ah, that was, uh, hold on, I'm not, I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut. That was beautiful. That was stunning. If you listen to this, I, mm, I love this theme throughout the entire song. And so just hearing sort of a different version of the same theme, depending on where they are, um, like in the set or like where they are in in time or you know where they are musically with like singing rapping now we have this gorgeous like piano interlude it's almost like dueling pianos but better <laughs>
really carefully to the the piano in the background because it's that same gorgeous theme. I need to do videos like this more often because obviously as a voice teacher, I'm very focused on the voice, but music appreciation comes in all forms and like art appreciation. And I feel like this was just <laughs> so many things in one, you know, you've got an incredible singer, rapper, pianist. He featured a world-class pianist. Um, and then I, it, he directed this. So like the cinematography, all of it. It's just, it was an experience and it was beautiful and it just kind of like took me to another world. I love this. Obviously, I can't really speak much on technique because this wasn't a vocally centered piece, but there was still so much to appreciate in both the composition and the artistic direction of the whole video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this with me. Um, if you do know of any upcoming releases, songs, singles, concerts, I don't know, let me know. I'm, I'm excited to sort of be a little bit more current in some of my reactions, but that is it for today. Thanks for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.